night. City end, on target. Bit of a wobbler, floater. But he goals for Adelaide. And Adelaide kick away, 15-point leaders. Hey, how are you? Hey, Mark. Yeah, so we're in Clare this year for the community camp. Um, lucky enough to, to come home to my hometown, and uh, we're actually currently out here at my, my home where I grew up in, and um, yeah, there's a lot of, lot of great memories out here. Uh, I played my junior footy with the South Bay Demons. Uh, I was lucky enough to play in a couple of grand finals. I uh, played in a, a winning grand final with my old man as coach, which is still go down as one of my best footy memories. But um, yeah, no, a very good club to be brought up in and, and start my footy career in. Geez, you didn't have head on your head there, Dad. <laughs> There's Riley. Luke Dunson, lucky front. enough to go through my footy career with him and he's obviously at St Kilda now, so um, good memories there. Great day, great day. I coached Riley through his uh, mini cult years and then uh, into the junior cult years and yeah, certainly to be a part of that grand final was terrific. Yeah, I want to play in the midfield and Dad's like, no, we'll give you a rest up for this week, so I didn't listen to him anyway, so I just went and played up in the midfield <laughs> wherever I wanted to. So, welcome to my, uh, my humble abode. Whoa. Follow me. <laughs> this is uh, this is my room in here. Yeah, I've got my under 16 state photo there. Um, got my under 12 photo here, which is great. Um, and then yeah, just some some little footy memorabilia out there, which is good. So no, it's always good to to get on. He was uh, always dedicated to his sport, which was great. And uh, he was the sort of kid that didn't need a lot of motivation. And uh, yeah, there were times where we had to push him and encourage him, but generally speaking, he motivated himself, which was which was great. But I think from Riley's point of view, and I reckon the message to every other kid is that whilst he obviously had a lot of talent, it was his hard work that, that really paid off and got him there. During the pre-season, when I was a bit younger up here, I used to uh, run into Claire and train and um, run back. And you always had dad in the car behind me, just yelling at me, run out. We were really lucky with Sri and I to have the privilege of teaching Riley while he was here. Um, and he's gone through the footsteps that you guys have gone through. So yeah, it was good. We saw them all the time, all three kids actually. The poor kid had his dad as principal and his mum as one of the counsellors there, so we, they didn't really, you yeah. know, luck out I too well. I suspended him and she counselled him. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I kicked uh, the footy with my old man when he came home. They were the goals there, the, the keyhole. Um, if I hit a rock, it was five points. Uh, practicing both left foot and right foot. <laughs> These are my dogs. This is Buddy, named after uh, Buddy Franklin. This is my little girl, Jimmy. So, nah, she's um, she's gorgeous. Yeah, Waikari Wines is our is our wine label. We've had that going since about 2007. Um, so we have two vineyards in Clare and another par partner in the wine business as well. And we're yeah, we're just about 4,000 cases a year. It's basically a hobby that got out of uh, got out of control. So uh, yeah, we, we we turn a hobby into a business. Uh, mum and dad <clears> used to have us working in the vineyard and pretty tough work. But um, no, I tried to help out when we could there as younger kids. And Riley used to like driving the motorbikes and driving <laughs> the tractor. He didn't like the hard work of actually pruning. <laughs> This is, a, this is a vineyard out here, so <laughs> as you can see, buddy, buddy loves to join me out here. Oh, yes. Hey, that's a dollar. Hey? That's a dollar. It's not a dollar. Nice. Not bad, mate. <laughs> Done well. Chooks. Standard. Yeah, I mean, without mum and dad, I probably wouldn't be where I am now. Especially through, through my early days when I started to play a bit more down at the Eagles down in town. Um, we are travelling sort of three times a week down there and, and then with the state program starting as well. I mean, you know, it's a massive sacrifice for mum and dad as well with their careers. I mean, driving me down there three times a week and yeah, credit to them and, and I couldn't thank them enough. Big goal. Look at the crowd. Bigger than they anticipated here tonight. And he bends it brilliantly. Adelaide get another. It's just heart in mouth stuff. It, I mean, it was a fantastic night, obviously better because we won, but um, just every minute you're living every ball and just oh, really hoping that, you know, your son does okay and the team does well. And then when that happened, it was just, 
Yeah. Fantastic. It was a great win. So I hope there's a few more of those to come. That'll be yeah. nice. It's really interesting as parents watching AFL. Mm. Like it's, it, people say, oh, it must be fantastic. And it is, no doubt about that. Mm. But you actually don't watch the games and really enjoy them. You're mm. so worried about, you know, is, is Riley going to play well? Is he going to get a kick? Is he going to do the right thing? And it wasn't really until we went over for the elimination final when we were with all the other Crows parents and thankfully had a good game, which was great. And uh, we sort of really relaxed for the first time and it was just fantastic. It was really enjoyable. And I'd say it's probably the best game uh, that, that we've enjoyed, which was great.